Lifetime. Yes, you're on the air with The Truth Is. This is Aries. I'm actually checking in from the DMV. How is everyone doing tonight? Next Lifetime, yonder. I think this is going to be a hot topic tonight. It's going to be on fire. It really is. It's going to be so hot. I mean, Aries, we're going to go so deep into the psychological effect of what you thought you should have had. So, so, so we're psychiatrists now, huh? Well, well, we we always had doctors. We got to be head doctors somewhere along that. Because you think about it, if you think about it this way, is everybody, whether it's that teacher that you wanted to get with or whatever it was that went on life, everybody feels like they they missed something. Whether they're pastors, lawyers, or preachers, they feel like that somewhere along the line that they missed. It's Everyone. You're listening to The Truth Is with Yonder and Aries. Our dial-in number tonight is 646-915-9923. Again, this is The Truth Is. Truth and our is. Num- the Truth Is. And that number again is 646-915-9923. Or you can text your questions and concerns to me at 240-621-0417. Um, today is August the 16th, and like we said, this is going to get deep tonight. I can see this show going into a lot of different ways tonight, a lot of different ways. And then there was the forgotten one. I mean, some people, as you get on, as you go through this, you'll think about the one that forgot, and it's just be something that goes to your mind. And then there was a spoiled one or the rotten one or the one that just, whether they get killed or died or you just moved out of the neighborhood, whether you're but, a military or civilian, whatever happened, something happened along the way that, it never happened with you and that person. And then we're going to talk about this tonight, y'all. Forgive me if you get some feedback, because I'm trying to play this from off of my system. But um, I want you to listen to this clip, because we're going to get into this topic tonight also. A man who wants to be with me and my baby and have a family. A real man, Jody. Jody. A boy who still want to live at home with his mama. Fuck you. Kiss my ass. Go on out these streets and be a little trick if you want to. I should not get the fuck out, girl. You better not hit nobody, because I called the probation officer and they will put your black ass in there. Man. That's where... We're going to go ahead. That's the... What's the name of the movie? Baby Boy. Baby Boy. You're going to say in that shit, girl. That's from the movie Baby Boy. I hate your ass. You make me sick. I can't stand your blessing. She hate him, right, y'all? We hate him. But you always date him. So as you guys listen, we're going to be hitting it from all angles tonight. So, um, again, this is The Truth Is. We're going to try to break down the truth. Our dialing number is 646-915-9923. Well, let me add one more thing to that, Aries, before we go to to the line. That Jody piece is, I have a problem with that. Why do the women say they thugs and then the nice guy has to be the cleanup person? Uh She won't holler to him first. But after she had a baby out of thug and he didn't beat her up and did everything he had not been doing to her, from stealing her purse to messing her credit up, she looks at the other guy for him to clean her up and make her right. Jody. Date him first. She she dates Jody, but she'll never date Theo Huxtable. She'll date she'll date Theo after Jody didn't mess her over. What what is it, ladies? Dial in. Give us your opinion. What is it about Jody? I think I know what it is about Jody, but I need for you to call in to to see if we're on that same, you know, why is it that we will settle for 10% of what Jody has to offer versus that Theo that has that 90%? Now, I mean, that 90%, Theo, uh, what do you think that 10%? Where, where is that? What What, what is that? And why do you think that Theo can't do that 10%? That 10%. It's about sex, Yonder. Come on. Now, let, let's okay, just that's out. what you're saying, but I think it's about, I think it's a self-esteem thing, too, because when 
sometimes a woman date a man who's at a higher education level or an education level where she really wants to be at, and he can do a whole lot of things for her. That ain't what she wants. She wants somebody who she can basically control financially or have to give to him and everything. She claims she'll want to give to him, but she ends up giving to Jody or, or whatever his name was, or Bone Crush or Little Black or whatever you want to call him in your neighborhood. <laughs> She ends up giving her, like I said, he drives her car. I work with numerous women who they had nice cars, nice jobs, education, but Jody had their car all day long because she worked there. And I would end up bringing them home, bring, making them, uh, giving them rides home because Jody never came back with a car. But is it because Jody's not afraid to approach her, whereas Theo, you know, she may feel like Theo doesn't really, is not interested in her no oh, phil has phil. approached her all her life he's been her best friend he's been the one who's loaned her money fixed her ties brought her home painted her house jody the one come over there and get the drawers and go on home. wow ladies fellas please dial in and give us your opinion <laughs> as you can see yonder has his and i most definitely and have the mine. lines are phil who's who's on like who's on first line uh all right who's who's up first let's see Caller, you're on with The Truth Is with Yondin Aries. Would you like to uh, first tell us where you're calling from, what part of the country you're calling from? Caller? Okay, we're going to go through this again tonight. Where we have no, we're not. We, it's going to be technical difficulty, but we're going to get through them. It's always some, for radio, it's always that way sometimes. Let's see who we got next. Caller, you're on the line with The Truth Is. Caller? Go to the next call. Okay, let's wait. Let's wait to see. But, yeah, I see the board is lit up here, but no one, as we've said in previous shows, we have the people listening, but no one really wants to voice their opinion. But, hey, we're not scared. So, I mean, we're just trying to figure out what is it about Jody versus what is it about Theo. Well, call us when you call in. Instead of going in through the normal way when they say you want to be on a call, Going to the hostess, uh, if you can hang up and go into the hostess station. Uh, if that's a, maybe there's a glitch right there somewhere, but go into the host station, hang up and go into the host station and come in front of that space. Or dial 614, I'm sorry, 646-915-9923 and press number one. Then once we see that, you'll move to the top of the board and we'll take your call. Um, next lifetime, there are situations also, we're going to go back to um, that topic as well, where what happens when you realize the one that got away, what do you do when you realize, dang, it could be years, like you said, it could be years, uh, decades in some cases, because I've um, come in contact with people where, you know, they're still talking about a man or woman that they dated 20 years ago, and they're, you know, biting their index finger saying, mm, I don't know what I did, but I should have never let that get away. So, but I I, I, I want to go into this deeper. Did they really get away? Because I bumped into some of them, too, that you thought was that one. And then as you get, not saying that some all on look bad, don't get me wrong, but then you think uh, which way your life went and which way your life didn't go. And sometimes your life went better because you didn't get them, but you didn't know that then. You didn't know, of course, when you broke up with them, when they broke up with you, you were singing everything from uh, uh, Rick James' Fire and Desire to I Want to Go Outside in the Rain. I mean, and then as you got, you know, you got through it, you start saying, okay, all right, okay, I think I'll be all right. What do you mean you're going to be all right after the breakup? Um, explain. Some, you, 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 you finally get all right after the uh, breakup, but it takes you a while. I mean, Breakups are like death. I mean, it's like it's like I think it's like five stages. Just the denial first, and you deny, and somewhere along the line you anxious. Somewhere along the line that you just mad. I mean, then you finally get over it, and then you finally go on. So it's like the death. It's like a death process. It's like like it's like five characteristics of death. I mean, because death is the same way. And that's how breaks up are. And sometimes your heart is broken forever. I mean, some men have broke up with or been broke up with from that one, and they have never recovered. That's a whole different show, but, but they never recovered. They, but why were they, we're talking about that one that got away. 
if it was that person was so much in love and so forth, why would they let that one get away? Remember, it's like next lifetime. I mean, we're talking about you had this situation, a relationship where everything was fine and dandy, then somehow things just didn't work out. But then you see that person and think, gee, dang, what was I thinking about to let that go? And sometimes it's young love, too. You're Sometimes a young love... Um, you, you know, you don't know, like, uh, what's that? Well, I think it's Tim and Rita has a song, uh, long, Young Love, Why You Want to Grow Old on Me. Sometimes you grow up and some people don't grow. Okay, so it's a maturity level. It's a maturity, and, uh, and you don't realize that you're not growing until she leaves your stupid butt. She's, uh, <laughs> she leaves and then you cry. But, hey, uh-huh. it's also, we can't we can't leave out the numbers. Um, we cannot leave out the numbers. I mean, it's the statistically proven that, for one, in most cases, let's, let's just be clear. Let's that just the truth is there are more women out here than men. So that's a factor too. We outnumber you men. So I think that's a strong one. But there are some women out there too. You know, women that are actually saying, "I love you, but I got somebody else." So we're not going to leave the women out of that situation. You well, know I, what was that? I, ask, ask the question again, Eric. I said there are women out there in that same situation where, you know, they feel that they let that one get away and they may reconnect with that old flame of old love, but yet they also have someone at home. So it's both sides. This isn't a man thing. This isn't a woman thing. It's, you know, why does it happen and what do you do? And sometimes it's that what's name too. Sometimes it's that, uh, it's that Jody again too. Jody? She Jody. let him go for Jody. Jody. Look, I have nothing wrong to bad to say about Jody. I guess it's just getting your mind right when you decide to deal with Jody. Mm. Because you need to you need to go in open. If you're dealing with Jody, you need to go in with your eyes open, ears open, mind clear and free to know Jody is just gonna be Jody. I mean but most times you don't. You go in there with all that I mean, you think about it. y'all emotional creatures, as much as everybody say I can break somebody off and go on home. Really? That's that's just talk on both sides. No, I no 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 no. I don't believe it's talk on the on uh, from the male side. I it believe. is. We 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 just wanna admit it. No. <laughs> oh we hurt. We oh we gone. No, 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 no. I could see men, and I know plenty of men. I have friends and, you know, those male friends where they can. I don't believe it's talking about mm-hmm. the They can. I hear, like, feedback. I'm sorry. No, that was me. That was me feeding it back. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I'm getting texts and emails saying I, I don't get the show tonight. So I'm trying to figure out what's what's going on. I know it's some technical difficulties. So I was making sure that I that it came up for me. So, but it is up for me. So I'm uh, I'm texting you. folks and emailing folks back saying it's on. What's wrong with your stuff? Yes, please go to our Facebook page, which which is the truth is yonder and Aries present. Our link is posted on our fan page tonight, or hit my website up, which is Aries the host, or Yonder's page up, which is, which is Yonder Harrison. Click. Click the link and, and I'll join Facebook to page. Just I'll join Facebook page. Um, that is the truth is the fan page. The truth and is go up on the truth is fan page because Yonder has too many uh people on his page. So the truth is it's going to be our new fan page. I'm going to support all my books and everything over there because you know Facebook's starting to let you get five thousand change people and you just want to delete some people. You can't delete everybody in the world. So I had to do a fan page with Truth Is. Okay, and our dial-in number again, this is the truth is, our dial-in number is 646-915-9923. Say that again, 646-915-9923. Call in, let us know how you feel, and until you call in, me and Eric is going to be curious, because we, actually, that's the best thing about me and Eric's show. We're so much alike, but we're so different. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know about that. I don't know about that because we like we tend to agree to disagree, but right. with this situation here, when we're talking about the men that you know don't get that bond, I just believe that is it's something within y'all's nature. I believe your DNA. So okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Explain that what you're saying there. I believe you know before um, you were speaking to the guests in regards to the technical difficulties. I do believe that men can actually get involved with a woman. Um, he could be that Jody. Jody uh-huh. does not 
get emotionally attached. Hold on for a minute, Yonder. We have a caller on the line. Caller, okay. you're on with the truth is. Would you like to add to the discussion tonight? Hello? Yes, you're on the line. Would you like to add to the discussion? Sure. Um, uh, where are you calling from? Oxen Hill. Oxen Hill, um, would you like to give your name or what can we call you tonight? Deja. Deja, what a Deja. We like that Deja. Name. Deja, thank you for calling in. At least, you know, I have that female backup tonight. What is your... She ain't got no backup. She ain't got no backup. No, she probably will. Go ahead, Deja. Deja, do you feel that men are, um, that Jody is emotionally attached? You know how some women can go out and they say they can deal with a Jody, but then they get tied up with their feelings and emotions. Well, how do you think Jody feels on that point? I mean, since we don't have any Jodies that want to call in or just men that want to call in and join the conversation, um, how do you feel about that? I feel that, um, you know, those guys that are those Jodies get in their feelings as well. They really? tell you, I can handle, you know, our relationship, but then as soon as, you know, you step out their little box, they get in their feelings. And Carla, you sound so familiar. Have we spoken before? Yes, we have. Oh, you sound so familiar. So you think they do. See, I just, I just. Now, what about the cleanup man? Um, did we talk about the cleanup man yet, uh, Yonder? Um, okay, no, we haven't talked about the cleanup man yet. Or the cleanup woman. Okay, Deja. What is your opinion as far as women wanting to go out and find Jody? Jody's doing everything that I guess they need at that point in time, giving them that 10%. But then they, the cleanup man, um, Yonder, are you saying that they don't want to get involved with the cleanup man or is the cleanup man missing something? What, what's the deal with the that? The cleanup man is not missing them, but she is, uh, let's just put it this way, attraction is everything. Jody has her attraction, but... The cleanup man has always been her friend, has always been everything she needed him to be. But, of course, she ends up giving Jody some. So who has to clean her up afterwards? The cleanup man. The cleanup man is the one who always makes sure her car right, who does anything for her. It's always, he's that good friend of hers. It's always around when Yonder, Jody breaks her. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Carla. Wait a second. Yonder? Mm-hmm. It seems like, you know, you're emotionally attached to this subject, too. Oh, I am. I am. I am. I am. <laughs> I am. I am. And let me, let me explain well, why I'm it emotional. It's, it's okay. It's just you and I here tonight. But I, I'm explain, let me explain why I'm emotional. I've been, I've never been to Jody. I've been the cleanup man because, like, after everybody dog you out, I'm usually the one who pick you up. And like I said, I'm, and just the nature of me, I'm a rescuer. Jody's so, are usually abandoners. <laughs> I have a question, though. Um, mm-hmm. Like you said, you're normally the cleanup man, but do you think after being rejected so many times by those women that go for Jody that somewhere deep down inside you wish you had a little Jody in you? No, I, I really don't. You know, at, at one time I did. I'll be the first to admit, younger I did. I was like, oh, man. But as I got older, it's like, man, please. why? Because Jody's credit is not right. Nothing's right about Jody. <laughs> Jill's pro- credit probably ain't right either. But, look, <laughs> but see, like I said, the, the, by becoming a cleanup man, it's it's not a position that you just go out looking for. It just happens because of nature being where you are at that time. But the thing about doing all the work, the Jody gets all the fun right then and there. But after they have a baby by Jody or Jody beat him up or take the car or do whatever nonsense he's going to even. Can, can we just, let's just admit it. I okay. mean, I'd be the first to admit it. Okay, I'm listening. Some women just want the Jody in their life. Although they know Jody, although they know Jody is not worth, as they say, where I'm from, a pot to, doesn't have a pot to piss in. Right. They want Jody. Out. Jo- uh-huh. Jody is a challenge, and they feel in somehow, some way, they can change Jody. That's what I believe that deep down women feel because, you know, like you said, you're a nurturer. I believe most women are nurturers. They'll get a hold of Jody and feel they can change him into that man they want him to be, whereas Theo may be lacking something or they just don't see the good in Theo or whatever. But it's, Jody is putting it down for one. And, you know, once you put it down, in most cases, some women, depending on how they flow, you basically got them. So, if they're putting it down like that, Jody's doing blowing it back out as the, my text just read. 
um, Jody's blowing the back out, then they feel, okay, I can make Jody, I, I, I'm going to be the cleanup woman and change Jody into that man that I know he can be. But, okay, you start trying to change Jody at 16 and you 40 still trying to change a Jody. Oh, that's a different but, issue right there. But, but, but it's the same thing. Most times they end up Jody's or they end up going to the cleanup man, like I said. And it's not that the cleanup man can't make you, knock your back out or anything. You never give him a chance until after Jody messes up. He's like, why do I have to be second if cleanup I've man. always been for you? Cleanup man needs to step up. But I'm, he's I'm already gonna... stepped up. The cleaner man has already done everything you need to do, but who's riding around your car when the cleaner man brings you home? <laughs> so is it good girls Jody like Jody doesn't boys? have a job, or usually he's usually not in the, let's put it this way, his numbers are usually not where the cleaner man's is. Hmm. So Theo is actually the materialistic protector, as one of my callers just sent me a message saying, and they feel that Jody will protect them in the streets. So is that more of an attraction also, saying, okay, Jody going to have my back that way? Okay, but you saying Jody going to protect them in the street, okay, as if the cleanup man can't. I know, I know. Carla, what do you have to say about this? Cause I'm listening, Carla. circles right here, and I just need to know and hear feedback um, from other people. Yeah, yeah. I, Okay, let Deja talk. No, I mean, I just, I'm totally opposite from both of you guys. I feel that I've had my Jody, and I call him my bad habit I can't break. And Mm -hmm. it has nothing, I know my place with my Jody, as you guys are calling him. He is. He's that guy that I know I could never have the relationship I deserve with, but at this time... He's giving me everything I need. He's yeah. that good friend. He's not just, you know, the Jody. He's that good friend that I could call. I need a date this Friday night. Okay, I'll be there. But I know he can never be, step up to be the man I need for a lifetime partner. Mm-hmm. So what and do I you always do? Tell him, I'll see him next lifetime. I'm like, when you grow up, we're going to be together. When Jody and, grows up, like you said, and that may and, never and, happen. Well, well, state that again, Deja. You said when you grow up, I have, you have to wait a next lifetime for him because you feel that like he's never going to grow up in this what? Lifetime. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't feel that he could ever be, and I told him that. You know, I'm like, I love our relationship. I love what we have. I know when the guy I'm dating, I'm done with, I can. he's always going to be there. He ain't going to wear. He's not going to change his habits. And he's always going to be that guy I could call on. But he can never be my man because of the type of man I need in my life. I don't see him being that provider, that protector, that guy that will have my back 100% because he doesn't have those type of responsibilities, and nor does he want them. So he's, are you, are in the you life he's Jody? living. Are you using Jody as a crutch? Because I, I did hear you say, you know, when a relationship doesn't work out, you tend to go back to Jody. Do you sometimes wonder if that relationship doesn't work out because you know you have Jody in your back pocket? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no. okay. Just that yeah, I don't look at Jody as a crutch because as a crutch because I know that my my Jody is not where I want to be. And I don't always go back to him after every relationship or whatever. Believe me, I've had enough of relationships, but so are we, are <laughs> I know we, that he will be there. Are we enabling the Jodies out here um, with that? Because there, there are situations where, you know, um, most females and males where we have a situation, I guess we have to call the female a Jody as well, but are we enabling Jody by going back to them? You know, and they're thinking, okay, they have something, they're doing something, you know, they're being involved with us or whatever. Are we enabling them not to want to be that Theo or that other type of person? My opinion, I don't think we're going to be, I don't think a female can make a male step out of his routine until he's ready to. I, I, agree. I, I agree 100% with you. My question is, are we enabling them to remain a Jody because we're still dealing with them? Yes. I, I think you guys are. But if it's not me, it's going to be somebody else. Well, but, uh, but I'm saying, but then the able it, it's like a drug. It's like giving crackhead some money for some crack. No, he ain't going to. Hey, like, stop talking about Pookie. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Like I said, so make you basically out of crack. He can always come back to his crack, because it's always going to be there. 
Well, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, like, I haven't, I'm not dating someone now, and I have not gone back to my Jody because of when I did start dating someone, he got into his feelings. And so I had to, like, kind of get away from him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jody is normally that thug one. Really mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. Oh, say that again, Carla. You said he got into his feelings. Jody, what? Yeah, well, when I started seeing someone, you know, I was like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm busy. You know, I can't see you. And, you know, he just kind of got in his feelings. It was just like, you know. Jody I wasn't a stalker, you. was he? Jody wasn't a stalker, was he? Please don't tell me Jody was no, a stalker. No, 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 okay. no, 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 in situations like that, Jody is never the stalker. Jody is never really looking for you. I mean, in your situation, he was, but Jody has you and 10 others in most cases. Right, and it was. It was like, damn, I'm not getting my way tonight. And, you know, he was on, I'm pretty sure he was on to the next once I told him no, but, you know, he, so he what just told me he do? was a little upset about it. What's the solution? What do we do? What do we recommend? Not only for the Jodys, but to also get over that one that was, as we say, we'll see him in the next lifetime. How do you get over that one? Uh, well, that's look, that's a that's a subject totally up to y'all. Well, you tell exactly. y'all y'all say how, how did y'all get? Well, you both have been in those situations, or you know a folks. Let's put it away. I won't put it directly on y'all. Y'all know a folks. Oh, you can put whatever you want directly on me, but it's like you have to set your mind to when it's done, it's done. I mean, we've had this uh, conversation off air. When it's done, it's done, and you just have to put your mindset in. Sometimes the Jody will help you move on. But you have to, you know, set your mind to let it go for whatever reason, because like we said, once it's dead, it's dead. That's the way that feels. Okay, Deja, what you got to say about that? Mm. <laughs> you don't think it's ever done? With? Come on, Deja, give, me, give, give us your No, I mean, I do. I mean, I kind of feel the same way. It's one of those... I mean, it's just one of those things where it's like you know as a female, my I don't speak from a female view. I know me as a female, why I haven't gone back to my Jody is I'm done with it, right, for now. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm never going to go back because it may be 2 o'clock in the morning I'm going to call him and I know he's going to answer. But right now I'm done with him because I know I want more. But I think the first beginning of breaking your habits of your Jody is understanding your worth. And I don't think a female yes. can break those habits if she does not understand her worth. Exactly. And it's about do, self-esteem. I agree with you, too. I, well, I'm, I'm sorry, Eric. Go ahead. I'm sorry. As, as you said earlier, it's about self-esteem. I think you brought up the issue about having that self-esteem and self-confidence within yourself. I mean, you have to be about it. If you, It is what it is. I mean, you have to, you know, stay in that mind frame. And I don't want to talk about self-esteem with the Jodies because the sad part about the ones that mess with the Jodies, these are the ones that, like you said, Theo Huxley would like to make his wife. They're well-educated. They're nice-looking. Everything is right for them. Everything is right about them, but too. But Theo won't but, step up. I'm sorry. But, I, regardless of what you say, and you say Theo's been that friend, Theo won't step up. And it's not Theo, that he won't step up. You won't let off. Theo step You You keep on putting, like I said, you're blinded by the 10% instead of enhanced by the 90 no. Sometimes you can get blinded by it. tunnel vision will take you somewhere else. And tunnel vision is usually a baby later. A baby later? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, really. And then some folks stay in a relationship with the, like you said, the the Jodies. Look, okay, we talk about the movie. What's the movie? Um, baby Boy. Baby Boy. Okay. How long she stay with Jody? Mm-hmm. I mean, and she's still with Jody. If, if they were going on today, she's still with Jody to this day. Jody had no job. Jody kept her car all day long. She went her Jody slept with everybody in her building on the block down the street, the cousin and everything. He had he never lived right the whole time. And what is it? I know everyone's personality. He wrote a bicycle, y'all. I know. He, he had a bicycle with the big hand device. But exactly. It, it, you know, it, it's this thing where, you know, Jody has that swagger. Jody has that look. So, so the swagger and the attitude. look makes you go to welfare with him or exactly. lose your job or lose your girlfriends exactly. or lose everything you got for that. That's like yes. I said, and Jody's even, your, what I say, Jody's your crack. It, yes, and I've even Cause seen. Because crack's like you lose everything, right? 
marriages break up because of Jody. So it's like, what do we have to do? I mean, like um, Ms. Deja said earlier, we can't make a man turn into something that they need to be. That's something they need to do on their own. But what do we do in situations like this? And I, for one, I go crazy because I can't tell a man how to be to be a man. I cannot say <laughs> you need to step up the way Jody's stepping up. I mean, but what Jody you, never stepped up. See, look, that, see, that's that's where I think you're wrong. You saying he stepped up? How he step up on his ten percent? And I've been handling my ninety four ever. I think it is it the thug addiction. Is it, it might it might be the thug addiction. Because <laughs> what do you think about it? I mean, really, you think about it. We have another go- caller. Let's see if this caller wants to join the conversation. You're on with the truth is. Um, would you like to join into the conversation tonight? Hi, is that me? Yes, it is. Yes, my name is uh, Hugh. I'm calling from Virginia. I just came across your show, and I'm actually standing in my truth. You're standing where? In my truth. In your truth? Yes. Uh huh. And what is that? Well, I'm a Vietnam era veteran. I'm looking to get this country back on track uh, in lo- peaceful, loving ways and getting God back in America. Yes, that is something that we all need to do. Um, tonight's conversation on the truth is is we're talking about relationships and getting over either past relationships or men and women that deal with the wrong type of person. And he's yeah. like on that basis because, like, you're talking about putting God back in it. That's yeah. where some, a whole lot of bad relations in, uh, started because we don't have God in our lives. And God That's needs exactly to exactly be- right. And uh, if I can share my name, uh, there might be some things on the Internet that would be of interest. Sure. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, sure. Yes, it's uh, Hugh, H-U-G-H. Her last name is uh, Trollson. That's T like Tom, R A U L. S E N as in Nancy. Uh, there's various things you'll see if you put a dot com. It will bring you to a site. You can click on historical articles and see a front page Wall Street Journal article from back in 1983 where I exposed the former federal government bureaucrat for fraud and indirectly it eventually led to the resignation of Jim Wright from Speaker of the House in shame. The okay, third okay, Hugh, we'll look that up. We'll look that up. Okay. Well, um, I have a question I, for you, Hugh. Yeah. I, have, yeah. I, could, I have a question for you. Okay, where? tell me where you are. You're, you hear what our subject is. Okay, give me a breakdown of what you would say about relationships right now. Well, number a relationship one, with women and women relationship right starts now. starts with yourself, and that's what you have to learn to love yourself first. And if you can't do that, how can you love anything else properly? So uh, understanding that, then uh, you will, you know, ripple that out to the world. And when you have a a relationship, that communication is extremely important. And uh, you should respect the other person in the relationship, too. And that's where the communication comes in to have that respect and If you can't, then don't have the relationship and uh, wish them well and move on. I uh, am loving that, yes, yes. Well, (laughs) and women are really a beautiful being that men should learn to appreciate more. They haven't throughout history. And uh, if a man uh, could have the experience of what a woman goes through to have a baby and raise that child and take care of the household and work and do all the things a woman does, a man would be a far more respectful of her. It's not mm-hmm. working 60, 80 hours a week and having a few beers with the boys at the bar and coming home and demanding dinner. No, no, no. <laughs> I agree. Well, I have a question for you. How did you find all about it? We've been doing numerous marketing campaigns. Which uh, outlet did you find us on? I just came across this blog talk show. I don't even have a computer i have a web browser and my cell phone and i uh, go on different blog talk programs okay cool okay okay so the, okay so the blogs are working too okay we're just trying to figure out okay where our audience coming from and making sure folks are listening oh that's cool we we, we appreciate you calling in i w- wouldn't mind you call back again and enjoy the conversation and keep on uh forwarding some some of the stuff even folks on email and everything let folks know that we're on on every thursday night from 9 30 10 30 the truth is with yon and aries well, thank you for putting the show out there because people need to have the dialogue and 
the discussion and they have to, again, come down to basics because since of birth we're being jerked around by a group of elites from behind the scenes and we have to come to the realization that we all are spiritual beings. We came from spirit a hundred years like the blink of an eye in terms of eternity. We're going to go back into spirit. You can't take the toys with you. So obviously we're here for a reason. I believe it's to learn unconditional love. So again, start with yourself and then ripple it out to your family, friends, and to the community and, and beyond, and we can have a beautiful world. Okay, cool. Like I said, we're going to go on your website. We got you, you plug yourself, so we're going to go on the website and send folks to it because we tape each one of our um, sessions is taped. Mm-hmm. So after it's over, you can go on the website and listen to it and forward out our folks, and your site will go out even more. So we appreciate you calling, okay? Thank you very much, and God bless everyone. Thank you. God bless you, sir. You too. I'm loving it because he said it. It's about spirituality and having that respect for one another. And that's where um, that Jody does not respect the woman. I mean, mm-hmm. we need this. We need to respect one another. Uh, even when we talk about, you know, next lifetime, not getting over that person or being involved with that man or woman that you know is probably married, has someone at home, um, they're taking care of their kids, children, or whatever, but there are men and women that still try to deal with these people. That's part of having that respect as well. So I'm really loving that. I'm loving it. I I, I like, and I like that he called in and plugged himself and was saying, hey, this is what I stand for and this is what I'm doing. And and that's that's real good stuff. Okay, well, uh, Eric, let's Mm -hmm. go here towards, like you said, we're talking about life. Okay, which one you want to go on right now? You want to do the next lifestyle or you want to go into the, um, the Joey? To everyone listening, this is The Truth Is with Yonder and Aries. Our dial-in number is 646-915-9923. Yonder, back to your question. I'm tired of talking about Jody. Okay. I'm, I'm tired well, of talking well, about Jody. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Now, that means I want to talk about it. Now, I'm just saying no. Uh, well, okay, go well, ahead. Why you start talking about... <laughs> you, you, you can. You can. Okay, well, we're going to go to the next lifetime. Okay, well, let's go back to the next lifetime. Okay. Think of, I mean, with the next lifetime, you can go so many, so deeper here. I mean, it's because some military families could be somebody that moved away or just was, it just didn't work out at that time. But, okay, now, Hugh, I, I got to thank you. You got me on a spiritual path now. Do you believe, as we said, you know, with a greater uh, dimension and so forth, that God has a path for all of us, right? So in his past, it was not meant for you to maybe be with that person. Like you had even mentioned it earlier, that someone from the past is probably someone that needs to stay in the past. I agree. Um, I'm a big movie fan. It's a movie called, uh, what is it called? Adjustment Bureau. And the whole premises of the movie is these two folks didn't pose it together because they, pose, they could not function together. They both were said to do these to be two powerful people in their own right. And they made sure that these two folks never got together. I believe that there are certain times in life that you just not meant to be whoever you think you should be with. That could be friends as well, because what do they say? There are seasons, there are different seasons. Yes. Some some people in your life for certain seasons, and once their season is over, then sometimes that's where you see friendships and relationships breaking off. So I really much agree with you on that. Yeah, I mean, because I mean, you think about. It, I mean, I have friends who been who I will always love, but they can't be in my life right now. And I, but I appreciate them when I see them. Yeah, we have to. I mean, you have to appreciate them because it, it, you don't need to hate them. It's just that for whatever situation, if it was a friendship, if it was a relationship that you were inter- intimately involved in, it, it's just you know you just have to move on. And we had spoke about that about that before. Um. Oh, we have some more callers. Let me see if uh, Miss Days, are you still here? Miss Days. Yes. Yes. Did you want to add on to what Hugh actually mentioned in regards to you know loving yourself and that respect factor? And you know, let's let's be truthful. Is it that Jody at times, as we heard from the um, clip from Baby Boy, Jody just basically has no respect for you? Um. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's about loving yourself and knowing your tolerance and what you're willing to deal with. But, you know, she said it over and over, and I hate it, I hate you, I hate you. But really, she loved him, and she was just waiting for him to change. And, I mean, that was her choice. Me, personally, I'm not waiting. And when I say I'm done, I'm done. I'm walking away. 
And then I'm wondering if she was really loving them because, you know, we heard the situation. For those that haven't um, or are not aware of what we're speaking of, we're talking about the movie Baby Boy, and that's with Tyrese and um, Taraji P. Henson. But it could have also been a situation. Let's look at, you know, everything around her, her situation. Um, she was dealing with the other guy that was in jail. Could it be that she never really knew what a true man was for one and what true love was for two? So that's why she dealt with that situation. As well. I mean, and that could have been the case. And what's so funny is um, I just asked my friend who won't call in, ask him about why he thought, you know, we choose the um, the Jodies. And, you know, his thing was he said he's always the last choice, but he knows that he's the best choice. And I was trying to get him to talk a little bit more about that, but I guess he's, you know, he's right. He's that guy that you can talk to to 2 o'clock in the morning that will be there, that will rescue mm-hmm. you. But we always go for those thugs because they'll give us what we want at that time. They'll give us that fast love, and we're not waiting for the real thing. Mm-hmm. They won't, but they won't give you fast love. They're giving you fast sex. I mean, you think about it, that's really never love. But like you said, the, guy, the friend you were talking about actually loves you and hates to see you with that type because he becomes the cleanup man. Yeah. And, and let's take this a little deeper. Um, I had a conversation over her. I guess I could say I was part of a conversation where this young man was talking, you know, a friend of mine was talking to a female friend of mine, and he had asked a question, um, do you find that most men that you're really attracted to or fall in love with are those that remind you of your father? And when he asked her this question, I had to sit back and think about this. I'm wondering if it even goes deeper than that. Um, for like men and women that get involved in relationships, if that person that turns out to be like their lifelong partner, husband, wife, or whatever, or that one they feel truly got away or they love, does that person really remind them of that figure that actually raised them? So for men, are you really looking for your mother or the qualities that your mother may have? And ladies, is it truly something about that man that you're in love with that reminds you so much of your father? But, you know, let me speak on that. As you're dating, you're not looking for her. But as you're looking for a wife or a husband, that's when you start really, I mean, myself personally, as I was dating, oh, no, I was looking for Shanika Brown. I mean, I was looking for somebody who just out there can do whatever I want to do when I want was to looking for a, You were looking for a Jody, a female Jody. Uh, a female Jody, what I would call Shanika Brown. Okay. Okay, but I when, Shanika Brown. when I um was in that conversation, you know, listening to them, like I said, it took me back because I think about the people that I feel truly connected to, and I was like, you know what, this person may have a point there, you know, and I, I'm wondering if it goes back to that nurture because that mother and father were the ones that made you who you are, and you know, this same friend also said, you know, we're more of I have some feedback there that we're more of our parents than what we really tend to take in. So. And we respect them more than we have. But as you're younger, as a young man, you like your mama, she's cool and everything, but you don't want her. But mm-hmm. as you get older and you decide, this is going to make my wife, you look for all of those characteristics that you ran from. You despise her as a, as a youth. I mean, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, you despise her. Oh, man, I don't want nothing like that. Sure. She keep the house. Then you think about all the things she really did. She made sure the house was right. She made sure the finance was right. She made sure you got back in your sports event. She made sure your grades were right. She made sure your credit's right so you can get your first apartment, your first car, your first whatever. Then you start thinking as you get older, Dad, I really do want this. But yeah, but what it. happens, and, but what happens, though, when you get to a certain point, certain age or whatever, when there are none out there? Well, I'm not going to say there aren't any out there, but it's, like, harder to find those ones with those qualities, and that's when sometimes... Some of us, you know, revert back to Jody, but it's just like a the dating scene out here is very hard. And Yonder, I'm wondering if that's going to open it up for one of the events that we're going to be doing here soon. Yeah, also uh, some, some of the dating games and things of that nature. Yes. But I think, but I don't. I, but you know what? You said the dating scene, and I know I can't speak on this person because I'm married. But the dating scene, the days that I do happy hour, do any events that I do. Oh, I, of course the numbers are usually 10 to 1, but I feel that either sex doesn't know where to go to find each other. And it's like no one wants to break the ice. Not if they break the ice trying to go home and go sleep with you, but no one wants to break the ice to say, hey, I'm actually a good guy. I'm a good woman. Hey, I'm 
educated. I'm a good. I'm actually a real good catch, but no one actually wants to be that bold and say, "Why? I'm a good catch." Why? I wonder why that is. Why? I don't know. I mean, because you, for sad, sadly, with with us as a whole, men and women, men are more visual, and, and okay, we so, want to look so at you instead there. of, huh? I'm gonna put it out there. You're a single man. We're at a happy hour event. I walk up to you. I'm a single woman, and I approach you. I come on to you. What are you really going to think about me? I want to break you off from the DNA. Exactly. Exactly. So when you say, you know, why is it that people don't break the ice? Come on, let's think about the situation. It's normally the man that approaches. And generally, when the man approaches, we don't think those thoughts. But if that woman approaches you and she comes at you full force, what's the first thing you're going to think? Like you said, you want to break her off. So it's not an even playing ground. I mean, we... we it's not. It's unfair. The dating scene is like so unfair right now. But it all depends on how that approach comes. Okay, we meet. Okay, hey, I'm I'm yonder your eggs. Okay, we meet, and somebody introduces us. And now, hey, let's just go have a good conversation right there. Now, even though of course I met you because I'm attracted to you or whatever, but let's go have a conversation. Okay, I like jazz. Okay, I'm a reader. Okay, I, I right, mean I read. Come on, Yonder, let's get realistic here. You're Yonder. No, but I'm, no, I'm saying, but see, but, no, but see, what you're saying is I'm saying this is what happens, but this is what happens because we let it happen. If we start off, it's up to you how you start the conversation off. If you say you okay, like the red thing. we're going to happy hour next Wednesday, right? Yes, we're doing it, uh-huh. As everyone knows, Aries is single. Aries is very much single. So I'm going to try your approach. We're going to use this as, as they say, a taste test. No, 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 it's not going to be a taste test. It's going to be a... um. But what are we going to use this for? Because we're going to incorporate this into our show. This is going to be a test, and I'm going to do this next Wednesday. I'm going to take your advice, and I'm going to get you to walk me through it, be like my mentor. And I want okay. you to see the reactions on the men's face when we do this. Okay, and, I, and like I said, but think about like I said, see, because let me see. And I'm not going to say you guys had a wrong approach, but I think sometimes do, because you think that, okay, just because, okay, you look good or look, look like, that's all we're thinking about. I mean, as, you get, uh, as you're in the game, you start thinking, you know what, I mean, like you said, I've been Jody. Most, uh, most of them, I'm going to say they've been Jody, but they've had enough women that they've been around with. So I'm not looking for just want to sleep with anymore. I'm looking for a companion, somebody I can retire with, somebody that, that you know, that we can build something out on, we can try with, and I ain't always got to foot the bill all the time because she got a good paying job just like I do. I'm not seeing that. What I'm seeing in a dating scene is that's not the type of women that men want. Men call in. Our number is 646-915-9923. Men, if I'm wrong, prove me wrong. But But it's it's not that you're not going to eventually get to the point where you guys do something intimate. But... No, no, no. Intimacy, I'm not speaking anything into right. I'm just saying those characteristics of that woman, woman, what I'm seeing is most men, maybe they're not real men, but what I've seen, they don't really want, they're not attracted to that. They're attracted to Jody's sister. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but you think about it. I mean, well, let's put it this way. For instance, when... When a woman has a baby by Jody, she's not planning to have a baby by Jody. It just happens, right? He's not planning to have a baby by Shanika Brown either. Mm. Right, am I right? You don't go in. You don't go in here saying, "I, don't know. I know he ain't no good. He's gonna beat me up. He's gonna take my money, mess my credit." Oh, I'm, and I want a baby by. Different. It's a difference there. Our Jodies and your Jodies are too different. But I'm saying that's not how you go on this. I, I mean, you're not thinking I want a baby by Jody. Jody's terrific at night, but do I Some really want a baby by Jody? Wait, wait, wait. Some of them do want a the baby by Jody. Some but why? Do. I, I don't know. I can't ask why. It's I, a reform. I call it a reformer. Everybody wants to reform somebody. I don't want a baby by Jody. Uh-uh. But everybody want to reform somebody. Okay, you want to reform? I want. I want to be a probation officer. I want to reform Jody. I want to <laughs> get him clean and make him right. And you know, I'm Jesus. <laughs> I want to take him out to the restaurant and eat with a fork. Right, exactly. I, I want him to pull his pants up and take them cornrows out of his head. <laughs> Everyone, you're listening to The Truth is of Yonder and Airy. Our dial-in number is 646-915-9923. Again, this is The Truth is with Yonder and Airy. Um, Yonder, did we promote it? We didn't plug it. What's so funny? We didn't plug it, but I, I'm up here thinking next week is happy hour. We're doing happy hour with yes. society. Next Wednesday night at 21st Amendment. And for those that are listening, join us because I want you, as our listeners, to help me through this as well. I'm going to find 
someone out there that's single. I, we'll have to set it up yonder. We'll have to figure out, you know, who's single. And I'm going to use the approach that yonder actually spoke of. And right. After I approach them, yeah, I don't want you to speak to them to see, you know, what they really thought. They're going to think this is some hoe coming to them. I'm telling you, there's a difference in how men and women take it when um, females approach them. But it's not. Okay. It's how, but see, it's certain ones we we know we can do. Join us. Certain ones we know we don't, we can't do anything to. Join us. Join us next Wednesday night, 21st Amendment, 6th and C Street, Washington, D.C. We're going to see. What what's the bet on this one, Yonder? Uh, you know what? Uh, you know what? Uh, actually, you know what? We'll we'll, we'll reward the callers. It's whoever calls and emails you along the way, tells us what their opinion is. I mean, I give them free uh, a set of free uh, what? But my all four of my books. My last book is on um, what is it? It's an ebook. So they'll get the whole taboo series. I, actually, they'll I'll finish the taboo series out with them. I'll not only give them book one, two, three, four that night. Also, um, we'll get an email address for them or P.O. Box, and we'll be able to, when 5, 6, and 7 come out, which should be the end this year next year, I'll give them copies of all the books. I feel like I'm setting myself up here. Mm. I don't that think mean, so. I, I, look, I think it's going to be right. I think this is going to be something. And see, this is the best part of the show I like because when we do something that's totally out of the way of everything else and out of the way of anything from mainstream radio, folks can appreciate us and know how, like I said, the name of our show is called Truth Is. We are the truth. We are the truth. We're winding down here on time. Um, We kind of got into this, but we'll get into it more next week, where we're going to be starting a dating, uh, uh, it's not a dating game, but we're going to try to hook some singles up to you on the show and send you out on the date, you know, with, we'll, we'll let your peers and the listening audience, you know, try to connect you. We'll have all the information on our um, Facebook fan page, with the, which is The Truth Is. But we're going to try to get some people connected since people like myself, who's a naysayer, say, you know, it's really hard to find a date, find good people out here. But we're going to try to do some connections here. And, and we're um, going to take it all accommodations. We're going to make sure you're safely yeah. there. Nice uh, location, nice food. And if it don't, and then like, it's not uh, per, per se. We just want to know how we can make society a little bit better by basically making some love out of everything. Not making, yeah, not just making love. Respect. Let's make us some couple. Let's, let's get back into loving each other instead of chastising Hugh, each other and beating each other up. Let's go back to what Hugh said. Let, let's go back to what Hugh said. Hugh actually said it's about respect and loving yourself. Mm-hmm. That's all we got to do. We got to respect and love ourselves. Um, I'm going to plug next week's show. All authors and poets. Dial in next week. This time is going to be dedicated totally to you. No opening music, just straight talk with authors if you want to promote your books, poets if you want to promote your poems, if you want to do readings online with us. The show is yours next week because we want to get your work out there because we believe in you. And, you know, we want to help you along the We're way. We're going to plug you in. If, if someone needs publishers or anything, I mean, I'll, I'll have access to publishers. Anybody wants to send an email address or whatever, uh, from publishers to everybody needs a publisher. Everybody needs somebody to edit their books. I mean, to putting them on uh, CD, to putting them on uh, iTunes and everything. Let's talk and let's get this back out. So the artist community, from the book writers to the singers to poets, everybody can get back out here. So everybody can, everybody has what they call their own hustle so I have a real keen thing for authors and poets and everything let's have more call in you guys go out and support their work on their website on their Facebook tell our folks about them you like something about us go and tell everybody else about it you tell everybody else everything else so run and tell like Martin said run, run and tell that run and tell that run and tell that but yes this has been um, this has been a good show tonight um, callers listeners please let us know how we can improve, if the show needs improving, what your comments are, um, comments for Aries, comments for Yonder. Let me know what I need to do next week with this. Uh, I'm going to call it a blind walk-up. We're going to have Yonder pick the person, and I'm going to walk up and, you know, actually try to start a conversation with a person. Well, and we have to get to it. We have to get deep. I mean, I know you have a type because you, you mostly say, you know. I don't I, have a type. I, I, I don't, don't do Jody. I'm just going to let you know. Okay. This will I'm not be Jody. You. I don't. Jody, Jody okay. is not for me. And as I told you, once you get my is my turn on this conversation, my turn on this conversation. A point blank, you can look like the bottom of Jody's shoe. I, I don't have looks, I don't have types. You can look like the bottom of the shoe, but no, ho, ho, ho. I have to change that because the bottom of the shoe be coming out that on once. No, no, you cannot look like the bottom of the shoe. <laughs> I'm letting you know. I don't want a booger looking joke to come out there. Someone say, "Hey, it's me." No. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that I, let, let's change that. I ain't well, saying wait, you gotta wait, be wait, pretty wait, Ricky wait, either, but okay, wait, 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 wait. He has a job. Okay, a job. What else does he have going on for himself? He'll have a job. He has. What if he has that? In, you know, the. I'm not gonna say income, but he's taking care of business yonder. Okay, I'm just saying. I mean, come on. I mean, somewhere along the line, I ain't saying you get Jody, but I mean, come on. I, I, I ain't hooking up with Booker Johnson. <laughs> Booker. Booker had a job. Booker, he was the maintenance guy. I mean, come on. Well, we got to wrap up. It was, it was a show was a blast. Go to True Fish fan page, like it. Go to Eric's the host, like it. Put some comments on it. And let's make the show better. Help us to make the show better. Tell me what we're good at. Tell me what we're bad at. Tell us what you like, what you want to hear within the next couple of weeks. And then come hang out with us and happy hour next, next, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, 21st Amendment Secret Society will be in the building. Yes. Well, it's been a pleasure all mine. The pleasure has been all mine. I love everybody called in, the folks who couldn't get in. We still have some technical difficulties. We're going to try to get them erased as much as possible. But keep calling in, keep emailing us, and this show will be posted an hour after the show is over. And you can listen to it, and you can forward everybody. And, and we are also. now on YouTube. So look for The Truth Is yep. on YouTube. We're on, so YouTube, we are on YouTube, so. YouTube. And maybe, well, hey, something for next week. Maybe while at 21st Amendment, we can um, video some of it and post it on YouTube. And you guys really tell me what the, you know what the deal is. Okay, and I'm gonna describe. Uh, no, no, Eris, could you just come out and see her? She, she, you're gonna pay. She's fine. <laughs> Thanks everyone for dialing in. It's been good. Talk to you all next week. Bye bye. Bye bye.